here today to do a, not a favorites, a haul. Yes. Right, yeah. A London haul. A London haul. So we just came back, our UK haul, because we just yeah. came back from the UK and it was so amazing. We were there for two weeks and we were there with our uncle and his wife. They showed us around all of UK, well not all of UK, but we went to Brighton. Mm -hmm. I watched Zoella and she's one of my favorite YouTubers, so I was like, ah! Oh, Zoella, where are you? <laughs> I know, um, but it was crazy because like the next day she had like a meetup. Yeah, I know, we and left we and then it. she had a meetup the day yeah. after. Or it was a meetup, but it was something oh, for man. her like for her new beauty range and so I was like you couldn't have told me every single day of the trip we went somewhere new which yeah. was really impressive and it was really tiring but it was it was really hard fun. but it was worth it yeah so you can check out all the vlogs we'll link them down below in the pants bar yeah or actually up here too a card oh yeah we also it's have a card, a card. So, so let's get started yay okay so the first place that we went to or not the first place but i guess the first place we'll talk about is tate modern tate modern was it's a museum if you don't know it's a modern art museum which mm -hmm. was right up our alley it was so cool yeah. highly suggest going there yeah it was amazing it was really cool really really cool so so what did you get so i got this so we went to the uh the gift store that they have and they had a lot of Frida, or actually not just Tate Modern, but all of the UK yeah. had Frida everywhere. Frida Kahlo. You know. Frida Kahlo. Yeah. They had her everywhere. Her face was everywhere, and I was like, I was living Ooh. for it. So I got this T-shirt. So cute. And it's really, really cool. I saw it actually from the window. We were gonna leave, and I was like, I need to buy that. But it has some artists. <laughs> I know, oh god, it has fake tan. I, I promise, I did not mean to mistreat this shirt because I love it. I just need to wash it. Um, but it has just a bunch of artists on here. It has Frida, Dali, Dali. Dali. I forgot um, his first name, but Dali. Dali. It has um, Andy Warhol. And then this one is Picasso. So yeah. this was, I thought this was so cute. I wore it with some jeans on the trip. And it was really cute and lightweight. And I love it. And it's by Andy Tootie. So it was cool because inside the shops, they showcased a lot of artwork by Andy Tootie. And they were selling all of it on like cups and posters and shirts. All the artists showcased on this t-shirt are modern artists. Then we both got these cups. Yes. Oh my gosh. So cute. And it's by also um, Andy Tootie. And it has all of the modern artists as well. So it has Picasso, Frida Kahlo, Dali, Andy Warhol, and Van Gogh. Van Gogh, Van Gogh. that's right. That's yeah. Right. So, it's so oh, cute. I'm so excited to use this. I haven't used it yet, but um, I love it so much. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god. So I got a poster. You almost hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got really excited. Um, I got this poster. I haven't opened it yet because I actually want to hang it in my uh, apartment when I go back to college. Um, but it is basically just a poster of London. London, so the typical touristy London thing. Yes, I'm going to be hanging this up. So I kind of went poster crazy at Tate. Well, actually not that crazy. I wanted to buy a lot more stuff, but... We were broke by the time we got to Tate Modern because this was like towards the halfway point of the trip or like yeah. three-fourths way of the trip. And so we were kind of broke. But I got this other poster. I thought it was so cool. So it's basically just a piece of art showing this really cool modern retro house with a pool. And this is by David Hockney. I thought it was so cool. It's called A Bigger Splash and it was made in 1967. And yeah, I just I it really caught my eye. I just thought the colors were really vibrant. I liked how they have the pink and the blue and the contrast. Mm -hmm. And I just really like it. And again, I will be hanging this up in my yeah. dorm. Or not my dorm. I live in an apartment now. It's like Christmas. So we went to this store in Oxford Street, or on Oxford Street, and it was called Woodard. 
I don't know how you pronounce it without witted. witted. Sound. Yeah, witted. 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 <laughs> and it's a tea place. We found this little, like, what is it called? A, a tea, tea diffuser. Yeah, a tea diffuser. And it's so cute. Look, it's a teapot. And so you open it up. Oh. <laughs> you put the tea leaves in here. And then you just let it diffuse in your um, water. It's I so know, cute. It's so cute. I know. Then we also bought this hot chocolate. Oh my god. We have not been able to recreate it the way the store made it. I know. The store made it taste so, so good. good. But it's like dark chocolate kind of. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. Yeah, it's really good. And I think, yeah, it smells really good. And it's like bougie hot chocolate. So it's really fine. So if you want. It's perfect for like cuddling up. chocolate in your cup. Yeah, it's so Go good. to London. And then also we went to Brighton. I found this cute little... Uh, because Brighton is a seaside town. The houses are so colorful. Yeah, the it's houses cool. are really colorful. And it's just a, like a little seaside house. And I thought it was really cute. It's also a magnet, so you can put it anywhere. And I think I'll also put this on my fridge. So cute. So we went to Jo Malone. And I didn't know about this store until Greta had mentioned it. So I heard about Jo Malone through YouTube, as I hear about pretty much everything yeah, I everything. know. <laughs> Um, so I knew about Jo Malone through Estee, so Estee Lalonde here on YouTube. She actually lives in London, and she's Canadian, but she lives in London. And she always talks about, well not always, but I heard her talking about a Jo Malone perfume. When I saw the store on Oxford Street, I was like, she lost it. We need like, to go. Girl. I don't care. We need to go right now. <laughs> so we went into the store and it was beautiful. Let me just say, it's really beautiful. They yeah. have Jo Malone. Apparently, they have it in Nordstrom. in Nordstrom in the U.S. where we live. So I was we like, I've been waiting out. all these years <laughs> to go to London to get this when I could have gotten it right here. But it's okay because the experience was much more incredible in London. Yeah. So we got this perfume, we got the same perfume, uh, but it's the English Pear and Freesia, 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 yeah. but it smells really good. It's like, it's like fresh, a floral, it's like fresh, fresh and floral. floral and yeah, it's really light and airy. Mm -hmm. That's what I like a lot about it. So we'll leave all the links of the stuff that we can find. We're not sure if we can find everything that we bought online, uh, especially the stuff from Tate Modern. But anything that we can find, we will put it down below in a pants bar for you to find and for you to become broke. Yes, like us. In Brighton, we also bought some rings and it was cool because it was so what are they called the lanes is that what they're called yeah so it's yeah. kind of like um the reason they call it the lanes from what i understand is that they're actual like it's like a lane yeah in the street yeah, yeah. going towards the sea but. but I love the ones that I got. One mm -hmm. has a pearl and it has little diamonds around it. So it looks like I'm about to be married, but I'm not. Um, and then <laughs> the other one is like kind of like a squiggly little like rose gold ring. It's mm -hmm. so cute. I love it yeah. so much. I found these two rings. So the one in the middle, um, the one in the <laughs> middle is, uh, I got this from Brandy in New York like years ago. But Wait, these two, oh, it's so yeah. Cute. But these two on my pointer and my ring finger, I got from Brighton. And the first one is just like a really simple gold band. It has kind of like a woven effect on the top. And then the other one I loved. It caught my eye because the top jewel is kind of hanging off. Um, so I thought that was really cute. I'm pretty sure this is a birthstone and it's not mine, um, <laughs> but it's okay. I know Alex and Annie does some very similar to this. If you guys know the Alex and Annie jewelry, um, Ooh, store, they one. do some very similar to this. So I'm not sure if I can find this online, but I'll link one very similar from Alex and Annie. <gasps> okay, so we went to this store called And Other Stories. Oh my gosh, this place 
was incredible. I love it was amazing. everything. It was hard yeah. because it was kind of like anthropology and urban outfitters where it has kind of everything. It if was so I cool. could be a store, I would be that store. Yeah, it was Oh my gosh, it was kind of like overwhelming because there was so many beautiful things. It was things. like three stories. Yeah. It was beautiful. I don't know if you can really see them really well, but they're kind of like, what, trousers? Mm -hmm. Is that so what they they're are? more, yeah. I guess they're more professional. I've been looking for some more professional, kind of like business casual mm -hmm. type of clothing. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, because I have a lot of leggings and then I have a few jeans, but that's pretty much mm -hmm. it. So I kind of work, got to work on my professional clothing. And they're uh, stretchy too. On the back, it has a yes, band. Yes, I think that's also my favorite part because, so with pants, the most frustrating thing is that like at my waist, everything is tight and then at my like legs, everything is really loose. My, our butts are not proportional to our legs. <laughs> to our legs, yeah. yeah. So I have been looking for a jean skirt forever. Like, jean skirts never fit me right. Like she said, my hips are kind of bigger than my legs, so it fits perfect for my waist, and then my legs look like little chicken legs. But I found this jean skirt, and I thought it was beautiful. It's kind yeah. of frayed at the bottom. But the material is really soft and it's really high quality. So you can definitely tell it's like, it's, it's going to last me for a while. Yeah. It's not going to kind of just fray in the wash. They have a jewelry section. Oh my gosh. I found this bracelet. It's really dainty. And it has like, well, it has like a gold, I guess like, what's it called? Band. Right, band, yeah. And then it has kind of like a turquoise like jewel inside. So I love how the colors complement one another. Mm -hmm. That made me really happy. Their, their really collection yeah, of Yeah, they jewelry. have so much, so much stuff. And yeah. a lot of their jewelry is very dainty, which is like right up, well, your alley too, because yeah. you like dainty. So yeah, it was, it was, I was a, we were yeah. obsessed. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to choose. So I also got some jewelry, of course. I got a um, pair of earrings, and it's really tiny. Again, we'll insert a little close up, but they're so cute. They're just kind of, so they're circular, as you can see. And then they just have little dangly bits at the bottom, and I just thought it was really different. They're kind of like the yeah, earrings have on now. Yeah, a little bit. They're kind of like these, yeah. but like shrunken. And it just looked really good on. Like it's not too tiny where you can't even tell you're wearing earrings. But they're there where you can kind of just like be like, oh yes, you got some of my earrings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're so, so they're cute. pretty. They're really cute. So yes, I loved these. I was looking for a jacket when I went to London, and I found this one at Urban Outfitters. Oh my gosh! I at first I didn't love it because I was like, mm, I don't like the way it fits on me. But after a little bit, I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a chance. And then Greta came out from the from room, the woods from the woods up <laughs> here and she was like this looks so cute on you and i yeah. don't have a denim jacket that yeah because this is I, I guess this is not really your style your no, style is way yeah. more feminine yeah. this is more something i feel like i would wear and it was crazy okay story time so we go into urban outfitters and I see this jacket um, in like the sale section and it was originally like 59 pounds but it was on sale for 39 pounds and I was like oh my gosh this is really good so I go over to pay for it and I asked if they have a student discount and they do and it was like 20% off right mm -hmm. yeah which was so nice so I got this jacket for 22 pounds and when we left the store, I saw the same exact jacket at the front of the store priced for, for the, original the original amount, price. which was $59, I mean 59 pounds. Which means someone yeah, probably made a mistake. Someone made a mistake. Someone and either forgot <laughs> to put the other one on sale or they accidentally crazy. put this on sale. So I know. whatever they did. I know, I was like, thank you, but Jesus, like, oh my gosh. Basically, being somebody that is petite, this doesn't drown me out at all. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like I'm hiding behind a giant denim jacket. So now that fall's coming, I'm yeah. really excited to take this out. So, my turn! It's a basically an overall dress. 
and so. it's really cute I don't know if you yeah. can see it or if I'm if it looks odd on camera but I was wearing it in an Instagram post so if you check out our Instagram you'll see me wearing this and how I styled it I actually wore it with this shirt also can I just shout out this shirt because I bought this from Target for like 10 bucks and this is the shirt I've been wearing li literally every day and it's really cute it was a little expensive but it wasn't too bad it's pretty much typical urban prices but I just really loved it and it fit perfectly it has pockets which is yeah like oh, brownie so points cool. I love it yeah it's so cute good job sister Thanks. I like. so I bought this uh, jumper from H&M. I'm using British terms now and I love it. I know you're thinking like, Greta, what the heck, why would you get this? It's literally like 88 degrees. I just thought it was really cute. It's really big and baggy and I want to use it for the fall, obviously. And yeah, it's just really flattering. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's huge. Um, it's an extra small. I know, but it's still ginormous. But it's huge, but I, th I, th <laughs> I can see that it's meant to be worn like this. It's meant to be big and baggy. I love the color. I don't have anything like it. And it's just, mm -hmm. I love how it's woven and it's really nice. So we also went to Shortage High Street. I got a light box. I wanted a light box for so long and it's really cute for decoration and if you don't know what a light box is it's also called a cinema box so it looks like you know in a cinema where they have like playing now or whatever um like the old cinemas uh yeah that's what the that's the look it gives and i thought it was really cute and again i'm trying to decorate my apartment so yeah so while we in, we were in shortage we also found this really cool, like, paper place. I forgot what it was called, like, the paper project. It was called project Paper Smith. Yeah, Paper, paper Smith. Smith. I love writing, and I love drawing, and I love sketching, and just, like, having a place mm -hmm. to put my thoughts. So I, f I found this one, and I loved the color. Mm -hmm. Immediately I was like, <gasps> and it says projects. And I use this kind of just as a way, you can see my thoughts, ah! my thoughts, but... Basically, it's just like a way for me to like purge mm -hmm. all my creativity into it. And oh my gosh, I love this so much. One thing I really adore about the notebook is that it's dotted. What I also got was this little pen, a really fine point pen. Mm. And I love fine oh, yeah. point pens. Yeah. It's really fine. It's like lead. The yeah, it looks of like lead. kind of lead, like a 0.5 lead. So it tells you what to do every day. Lundi cool. voir en film, so watch a Watch a movie. Mardi, écoute un disque. So listen to a CD. Mercredi, lis un roman. So read a book. So Shortage High Street is a must go if you want to go to some cool like shops and local yes. boutiques. It's really awesome. So that is pretty much it for our haul. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. And this was not in any way to be like, oh my god, look at what we got. Yeah. It's just kind of like to give you guys an idea that if you do end up going to the UK and you want to do some shopping, maybe you could hit up some of the stores that we went to. And yeah, I mean, it's always great to get recommendations from other people. That's what yes. we did. We were mm -hmm. like, please let us know where to go because mm -hmm. that's the last thing you want to do yeah, on your trip is, is to not get know there. wasting days, not knowing yeah, where to not go. Yeah, not know what to do. So yes, at least check out Tate Modern for sure. If you're yes. into modern art, um, I highly recommend it. Um, as we said, you can check out all of our blogs that we did Yay. in the link below in the description box. Yes, thank you for watching. Make Yay. sure to subscribe and keep up with us. We'll see you in our next video.